Welcome to this short video that shows how we can achieve ISO 26262 ACIL D compliance using development tools from Tasking and the LDRA productivity package for automotive. In this video, we'll be using an Infineon Oryx TC375 microcontroller connected to an iSystem IC7 Mini Blue Box for debugging. Code will be compiled using Tasking's VX toolset for Tricore, debugged using WinIdea, and analyzed using LDRA's productivity package for automotive. This video is based on the content of a longer in-person technical event where engineers are taken through each part of the LDRA productivity package in turn to see how they contribute to the overall compliance. To achieve ISO 26262 ACIL D compliance and certification, certain process obligations and requirements are put on engineers and developers. These are defined in Part 6 of the ISO 26262 ACIL D Road Vehicle Safety Standard. As we can see in this image captured from LDRA's TB Manager, a requirements based testing tool, of particular relevance to the development of software are Section 5 and Section 7 through to 11. If we look in more detail at the information in these sections, we can see that there is a need for static analysis along with control and data flow analysis. These can be achieved using the TB Vision tool within the LDRA productivity package. We will need to provide evidence of structural coverage metrics, which can also be generated using TB Vision. Finally, there is also a need for unit testing, including hardware in the loop testing, all of which is handled by TB Run. As we move through a time lapse sequence of build import, static and dynamic analysis, and unit test, we end up with the required ISO 26262 reports. The reports provided by the LDRA productivity package are generated in HTML format, which makes them clear, easy to understand, and easy to navigate. As we can see from the left side of the browser, a number of individual reports are created. The ISO 26262 compliance report shows the obligations defined in the standard that we discussed earlier, and for those that are applicable to our certification level, where we have met those obligations and where there are deficiencies. In the standards model compliance report, we can see whether we are compliant with our chosen coding standard, in this case, MISRA C 2023. At the overview level, this report is ordered by the MISRA rule and identifies where there are non-compliances with those rules. Initially created by German automotive manufacturers, the Hersteller Initiative for Software, or HIS metrics, provide recommended thresholds for essential code quality metrics. These were devised to establish a standardized framework for creating high quality code that is easily maintainable within automotive systems. At the highest level, we see the HIS metrics for the overall software system. As we scroll down this report, we can see an overview of the compliance on a file by file basis. LDRA's hyperlinked reports allow us to look at an individual source file in more detail. It clearly identifies which metrics are violated within this file and further breaks the information down to the function level. The unit test report shows the outcome of the unit tests that we have executed on our TC375 target. For this video, we have segmented the unit testing based on individual functions, and the high level report shows us how many test cases have been defined for each function, along with how many have passed and how many have failed. The detailed report on a unit test module shows each test case in detail. For our unit test that has failed, the report highlights the differences between expected and observed values. ISO 26262 ACLD requires statement, branch and MCDC all to attain 100% coverage. The code coverage report shows how well this has been achieved using a mix of dynamic analysis and white box unit testing. The code coverage report again breaks the coverage information down to file and function level. For each function, the source code is highlighted to show where coverage has been attained and where further work is still required. With the results generated by the LDRA productivity package and shown in these reports, our development team can work to resolve the outstanding issues with the source code and testing process to attain the required 100% compliance for all the relevant metrics. Thank you for watching this short video. If you would like more information, then please contact LDRA using any of the methods shown on screen.